Welcome back. So we talk Hello. about spoilery things. Yes. Alright, so I guess we should spoilery shouldn't. things. Hmm. Right. Thinking of more spoilers on the ship. Okay, so what's some other stuff? Maybe on the ship. Have you seen Mr. Robot? No, I haven't. That is a really good show. I recommend it. Is that one? So we can't I can't spoil that. I think I saw that on Netflix. Was it on Netflix? Nope. It it's only been on uh Amazon video. Oh. Maybe that's where yeah. I saw it. I don't know. I I've heard of it and I've seen it before, but I have not seen it. That was a poor phrasing. It's just about a elite hacker. That's that's the premise, really. Yeah, I think one of my professors was talking about it at one point. Yeah, some good stuff. All right, where is this man? There he is. I'm gonna romance him. Hey, boss. Just Do not romance Jonathan. It's too late. He's he's too oh, here. You're running in. You're running into my cutscene. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, look at you. You're beautiful. Can you see me? Well, you're running around in circles, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're killing the mood, man. Also, you took no. away my subtitles somehow. That's what I'm here for. Cause a ruckus. Can you see me making sweet love? No. Aw. I wish. He's just sitting up there. All right, there we go. I romanced him. I think I talked to him too. Ah, oh, damn it, man! I've been cooped up for way too long. I need to stretch my legs and kill some things. Sounds like a good plan. So I talked to him. I think we're good. Oh, objective complete, of course. What's the next have, thing to do? We have met him, yes. Oh, we gotta meet him again. We completed the mission. Well, don't make me meet him again. Now that you got some new toys, how about you show these in what the Saints can really do? You got it. Alright, let's show them what we can really do. AKA. The singularity gun. Go right back to him, because we probably already did it. Yep. Wait. We got a new quest? A we new quester. Like, did it? We wow. did the thing. I mean, we didn't do it, I mean. <laughs> we actually did not do something. Huh. I'm gonna join your quest. Wait, did I join it? I don't know. Maybe. Are you on death from above? Uh. Well, let me check real quick. Cause I hit I tab, tab, but uh. I don't see the objective. Okay, let me see. I don't think I'm on that. That doesn't sound oh. familiar. You're starting Wait. something else, fam. Oh. I can join you. Does it show what you're on? What? What's your mission? What is it? What's it called? My mission is closer, closer to, 250? to 250. Okay. Wait. Yo, the Zin grabbed someone special Tab. from my past Tab. and put him in the simulation. Kill that. Did I join? Is my game bugged out? I have to hit tab to join your quest. It's not working. Maybe I have to get in the world. The simulation, rather. Oh, I need some ammo. Oh, man, I gotta Beam me up, fam glam. Oh, I'm in. I haven't gone to a gun shop in ages. I am really curious how they do the freaking, like, like the background when you spawn in, how it's just like that, that neon grid, you know? Oh, yeah. And then the world just pops in like that. I really want to know how they do that. Ask him. <laughs> Tweet Deep Silv. How at, how do at Deep Silver? How do this? Please answer. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention me. It wasn't me. Hi right, Deep Silver, big fan, big fan. Uh, so I've got this question. Um, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just just a real big fan. Um, a little nervous. Uh, what was my question? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Who is this character? <laughs> Did you just uh, fabricate him? This is... Well, we've already got Nats, so it's gotta be someone else. 
Oh, um, this is Nat's grandfather. That's his grandfather? Yeah, um, Burr. Joe... Joe, Joe, Joe Papa Nat's Joe. Joe, uh... Joe Spinelli. Joe Spinelli, alright. <laughs> I can do with that. I can do with that. How do you pull your, uh, little wheel up? The what? Never mind. I never Don't. did. I just oh, used the scroll. scroll. I picked up a boy. I want to oh, get rid good. of him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, cool, man. You swing on by the ship if you feel like finishing. This where's ride. Badman? Did we kill oh, him? No. Who's Badman? Oh yeah, I already. I got him. <laughs> oh. It was a piece of cake. So we're. Oh, did we finish the quester? Yep. Gotta go back again. Beam me up. Why can't we Scott just like call Adams? Him? Did you just say Scott Adams? Yes. Beam me up, Scott Adams. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't have an objective. I just want to blow shit up. No. Paint me like one of your Dilberts. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. You know how he has a flipped up tie? Flip my weenie up, Scott. Oh, no. Yum, yum. Right, right over your shoulder. Come on my tum tum. Like an ass god. Yum. <laughs> okay, so we're now on kill, kill, destroy, kill. Use my FYI. dick. Man. Oh, I'm Scott Adams. Draw, draw me as an OC. Do not steal. <laughs> <laughs> you want to use that picture? That's some royalty fees, fam. Scott Adams. If you somehow get a hold of this video, back in town. I don't come cheap. <laughs> no, he's, he's Nat. Scott Adams is Nat? Wait, no, 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 no. Nat's is like a luchador from Peru or whatever. Cuba. I can't... Cuba, okay. You remember the weirdest things. How do you not remember Nat's? I, you should no one ever Nats. made our wiki. Oh, yeah. Did we have to kill this man? He's almost dead. I was gonna beat him with a bat. Do it, fam. So I watched a movie last night. It's called Raw. Have you seen it on Netflix? Uh, no. It's a French. It's a foreign horror film. I thought it'd be good because it's about this. So the chick is a vegetarian, right? Uh huh. Uh, and she's she's like a she enrolls in this in this vet like a veterinarian school like a college. Yo, that was and shit. Like, for initiation, apparently, they have, like, this weird initiation, like the seniors do on, like, the freshmen, where they make them eat, uh, like, like these, these raw rabbit kidneys to, like, I don't know, to, like, be accepted or something. Like, socially accepted. It's like a social thing, right? Okay. Just a, a weird, a weird college thing. So, she eats this, this raw rabbit kidney. Um, I'm spoiling it because it's a really bad movie and you're not gonna watch it, so. I probably wouldn't watch it anyway. Unless okay. Unless you said it was good. Whoops, I think I paused it, my bad. I'm trying to not... Back. I had a great time, Johnny. Please go on, friend. So, she eats this raw rabbit kidney, right? And she, like, throws up, because she's, like, a vegetarian that doesn't want to eat it. She just throws it up. And that night, she gets, like, this, this disgusting rash, like, all over her body. And she just she's just scratching herself like crazy, and then the next morning she goes to the doctor, and she got food poisoning or something from it. And I guess from that rabbit kidney, it like triggered like this insatiable hunger for meat inside of her. Okay, so she just she just like it like she just kind of goes crazy after she eats this raw rabbit kidney, and like is always craving meat, and it's just like. Hiding it from people because she's a vegetarian. She likes. She starts like stuffing like, like in the cafeteria line. There's like burger patties. She like puts them in her pocket and like tries to hide it. And the cafeteria lady, the cafeteria lady is like, you have to pay for that. And she's like, what do you mean? She's like, show me your pockets. And it's just like these beef patties in her pockets. And then like, she starts doing like weird stuff. Like she she starts buying like salmon, and like, like eating it raw out of her fridge. She's like biting into this like raw salmon filet and you, you just see like this weird like look in her eye like she just kind of is going crazy and uh 
so <laughs> this is like this is where it actually happens. This is like the 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 point of no return. So uh, she's very curious about like eating humans, but she doesn't start it. She doesn't oh, she doesn't boy. start it. Yeah. So <laughs> her sister uh, is also at the school, but she's like a senior, right? And her sister visits. She visits her sister in her dorm, uh, and she's like waxing her her vagina i don't know why sister's doing this maybe she herself was like she didn't want to do it herself i guess so she had her sister like she's like waxing her right okay and the wax gets stuck on her pubes and she's like what are you gonna do and she's like i'll just like cut it with scissors like cut the wax off you know mm -hmm. and <laughs> so she's trying to she's trying to cut her scissors uh her, her sister's pubes with scissors and she freaks out on her sister and like kicks her because she gets like nervous that there's like scissors like next to her vagina or something and she kicks her really hard and like uh you see her you see her sister like kind of like like lurch back and like you see her hand right and her finger gets cut off what? with the scissors yes wait what are we doing hold on i need to focus read the toot man i okay yes very good. So, um, yeah, her finger gets cut off, right? And she sees that her finger is gone, and she faints. So, her sister's like, "Oh shit, what do I do?" And she calls, she uh, she calls somebody, right? Like nine one one or something. And her sister is fainted on the ground, and she picks up her sister's finger, right? And she's just staring at it and like observing it, you know. Wow. And she just kind of like licks it and then starts biting it. And there's like this uh. like weird music. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's like this like harmonious like orchestra playing. Like, oh my god, dude, that keep going, but this reminds me of something so much. Okay. Like, she has like a revelation that she's like, she loves this. She's like super into it. And she just like starts gnawing on her finger like crazy. And it's like super disgusting. And her sister wakes up and sees her eating your finger. And she's like blood all over her, her like mouth and stuff, and she just looks insane. And her sister like just like starts crying, and then the scene changes to uh them in the hos uh, the hospital, right? And uh, she protects her sister and says that her dog ate it, not her sister, right? Uh huh. Which which I'm not really sure why. I guess it's just because it's her sister, but uh so yeah, she protects her, and um. Like, once she recovers and, like, gets bandaged and all that, her sister's like, we need to have a talk. Like, about you eating my finger, you know? <laughs> so, they walk, they start walking, like, on the road. And they're, like, in the middle of nowhere. There's, it's just, like, a like a two-lane road. Like, literally the middle of nowhere. And they just sit on the side of the road. And her sister is, like, just talking to her. And she's like, you're interested in, like, eating, like, uh, humans, right? And she's like, it was just, like, one time. And her sister's like, are you not curious about, like, other people? <laughs> and there, a, ca a car comes by, and her sister it's jumps amazing. in front of it. And the car crashes and hits a tree, and, like, two people are dead in the car. You think after I got my dating <laughs> show, I her sister, the one that ran in front of the, the car, gets up, goes to the car, sees that they're both dead. And, like, one of the dude's head is, like, split open, and she just starts eating her brain. What in the world? So both of them, her sister is also crazy about me too, but yeah, I mean, basically like, that's kind of all that happens. They just sort of like, eat themselves and each other and other people, but not like, like actually killing anybody. Just like, well, like, you know how it's like, like a, like a veterinarian school, right? So they, they like start like eating like dead dogs and stuff. It's like really nasty, but. Anyways, yeah, the whole movie is just them revol it just revolves around them like getting more crazy, and at the end of the movie, her sister, not the main character, the bigger sister, ends up killing her best friend, uh, and it shows like his leg is like, like eaten in half, and she gets she gets put in jail, um, and her sister like, uh, basically like, stops eating humans, like she like, puts it behind her. And uh, she has a conversation with her dad, and she's like, he's like, it's not your fault. It comes from your mom. And he, he uh, unbuns his shirt, and he's like, he has, like, gashes and scars, like, huge scars all over him from, uh, 
his wife uh, just like eating him like over the years, but he just puts up with it because he loves her or something. That's <laughs> disgusting. And that's how the movie ends. It's like, okay, that was oh, interesting. Oh, you. Such a twist. I'm so proud of you, movie. But uh, the only reason I watched it was because it literally got amazing reviews. Rolling Stone, I mean, I'm not saying Rolling Stone is like a great source for like movie reviews, but it got a 4 out of 4, and they called it a modern horror masterpiece. What? I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'll watch it. It was so bad. I was, like, bored. Like, <laughs> the whole movie, like, didn't really go anywhere. They just kind of, like, bit each other and a few other people, and at the end, they finally kill somebody. But they don't really show anything. It's just, like, they don't show the good stuff. They show her gnawing on the finger and, like, eating some salmon, and they show her sister, like, biting into, like, a brain. But they're not, they don't really show it. Like, it's just her back, like, at the guy. It's like, if you're gonna make that kind of movie, <laughs> right? Like, go all out. I want the good stuff. Like, I don't go see a saw movie with a good story. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, I kind of do. It does have a good story. Right, but you watch for the the suspense and the thrill and the in the. Speaking of that, like that, have you seen the new one, or do you keep up with those? I do not. No. It was. It was okay. It was okay. I'm sure they've gone downhill, yes. Well, the first one is great. It's like one of my favorite yes. thriller movies, but yeah, they they definitely go down. But uh, that one, I mean, it could have been better, but eh. I've eh. seen worse. I've seen better. Is it worth watching? Yeah. If you've seen the others, I definitely wouldn't suggest just skipping them to watch that one. What if you've never seen a Saw movie in your life? Start with the first one. If you like it, watch the next one. Alright. I mean, I saw it on Netflix one day and I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? And then I watched the second and third that same day. <laughs> Cause oh, man. I just loved it. I wasn't expecting to, but it was really good. I mean, I do like the premise. I've seen like some like you know, like YouTube cuts where it's just like, you know, like the coolest death in Saw, whatever, Saw 3 or something. Yeah. So, I mean, but I don't remember like I any of that. What it was. I, I mean, I just remember it. one where like this lady had to like go through a bunch of needles. Oh, that's yeah, it. that's like a guy. I don't remember. Second I one, I think. Right uh, the only thing I knew about them the city before was watching was that they were like infamous for being quote unquote sure, torture porn. So oh was, yeah, like you know, cost. staying away from them because it sounded I couldn't risk letting a weird and not lives. very good. So I did what then I, I watched it, and I was like, Never thought that wasn't even that bad. Like, like the first just, one especially, it's much more just like subdued. That and it's more of a well, it takes place in one room, right? Mostly, but not just yeah. that. Like it's. It's more of a thriller than a gory horror movie than the other ones. Like, right. It's got mystery to it, and the other ones are just kind of like. Uh... The other ones are just basically, how interesting can we make this trap? Yeah. But the right. first one, it took that and made it into an interesting premise. Right. The others just kind of crapped all just... over it. <laughs> They just started pushing it, pushing the envelope. Even though I do enjoy them all to a certain extent. Yeah. Because it I is feel. just fun watching people in brutal situations. Right. Putting in charge it's of just, the brothels it's just was fun the best stuff. idea King ever oh, had. Oh, man, some There's of them no way just anyone else in Stillwater disgustingly would have been able to control the girls the way I did. As it far as the traps, money, I mean, like... It brought in the clients. Oh, there's this, this one where this guy has to, like, rip out one of his teeth with a wrench. Ooh. And the noise it makes when he takes it out. Oh god. I think I've seen that one twice. Every every time I see that scene I winced because it's just awful. And they always they always highlight it, like they make the noise like extremely loud, you know? Yeah. So you can't oh like Oh my god, I can it. hear it in my head. That's like, like the a, worst like a one. And it's like not even that bad, like honestly. Compared to all of the others, he's just ripping a tooth out, but it's just awful. Yum. But yeah, you should watch the first one. It's pretty good. I will watch the first one. The second and third are alright too, but I wish it would have stopped at three. It was like a pretty good trilogy. Yeah. 
but uh, like most things that money. go beyond three, <laughs> um, yeah, they start going to hell. Okay, well, what's your opinion on the new Star Wars? Which one? Just the one that came out. Uh, oh yeah, I guess Force, Last Force Jedi Awakened. hasn't come out yet. Uh, yeah. it was good. I mean, I wouldn't say it was fantastic or anything. It just felt like a retread. Are you happy that it's back? Not really. I was pretty no. fine with the six. <laughs> Are you not excited for The Last Jedi? I mean, I'll watch it, but I'm not super excited. Okay, okay. Fair. Did you see Rogue One? I did. That one was alright. I have a friend that he says it's his favorite Star Wars movie. What? Yes! It's he's not like, even he's in like, my top five. He's like, tell me what's better, like, and explain what's better, and why. I'm like, explain why you like Rogue One so much. He's like, it's just interesting, because, like, I love the characters, I love the plot, like, it's just a great plot, and it's just interesting because, like, all the characters die, and that just never happens in a Star Wars movie. Like, so you love it because all the characters die. I dislike it because it's completely inconsequential. You know exactly what's going to happen because of the movies that take place after it. Right. And all of that weird CGI'd characters that are like, hey, you remember this guy? Was oh, just yeah, like gross. that, like like that Empire that, dudes? Yeah. I saw it the first time. I was like, that guy looks vaguely familiar, but like it was yes. very uncanny valley. Like They did a horrible yeah. job with the CGI. It was a little too... Uh... Too noticeable. Okay, maybe it didn't all work out the way I planned. And it was a little Johnny slow a for my taste. And every guy in the world wanted him. I was doing commercials uh, and barely getting my music. I just wasn't interested in the characters Still, at all. Yeah, they weren't. I don't. I don't understand that argument. I liked the robot, the comic relief. I was like the I mean, only I don't think interesting yeah. character. All the others, I knew they were gonna die, and I wasn't interested in them at all. Right. I agree. But with that said, I did like how at the end it went like right into the beginning of A New Hope. Oh, I mean the Darth Vader scene was really good. I can't I can't deny that. That was pretty sick. The worst but besides that, Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say besides that there wasn't much I mean the uh the use of the Death Star was cool, but I mean it was just the characters were just boring. It was yeah. just the worst offense that Episode Seven committed was killing Han Solo. Yeah, that was not the best choice. What? Okay, so the thing about Episode Seven, when it first started, like when when when, when I saw it in theaters, the first twenty or thirty minutes. Like where it's at that sand place or whatever, and yeah, the stormtroopers are getting killed, and it's like from their perspective, and he takes off his helmet because it got like blood on it or whatever. Yeah, and it like humanized them. I thought that was like brilliantly done, but then all the rest was just garbage. Really, <laughs> garbage, huh? Well, not I total. Mean... I mean. The rest of the movie was like a six out of what ten. What about? So, what did you think of the uh, the Ray and Kylo Ren fight? Uh, I mean, it was all right. I thought it was so good, dude. I don't really remember it that well. I mean, that movie. Do you remember? Came they're out on like two years ago now. They're on Star Killer Base. The thing is eating a sun. It's getting like pitch black, and they're just fighting. All you see is their their lightsabers just it's clashing. It's like in the snow in a forest or something, right? Right, I mean, the Star Killer base is, like, getting, like, split apart, and they're just, like, still fighting, and it's, like, pitch black because there's no oh, sun Oh, yeah, anymore. yeah, I kind of remember that now. Yeah, that was yeah. a good fight. That was but, well done. But... Yeah, the action scenes were good. It was just the story was just predictable and boring. Fair. And, like, why... Oh, my God, that thing about, like... The schematic and like finding it through a map or whatever, like 
I don't understand that at all. Like, why... It was, like, supposed to be cryptic, like, Luke didn't want people, like, finding him or something? Yeah, well, look how that turned out. Right. I mean... Yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. I mean, overall, I did like the movie, it's just... It could have been so much better. Yeah. How do you... I'm so confused. Wait. Next time on Saints Row. This probably was like 40 minutes long. As usual. <laughs> yes.